So my name is John Fox and today I want to talk to you about projections, jumping to conclusions and assumptions and um, overlaying and projecting what we believe to be people being disrespectful and generally us withdrawing, becoming very emotional and also of course attacking and judging another person. Today I want to say that disrespect isn't something you can simply observe. For example, you can observe two people scratching their head or raising their voice or covering their ears a little bit. And you could judge one person, one person you could say is um, being not being disrespectful or the other person you could say is being disrespectful. Someone could say you can't cover your ears, um, but they're judging and trying to restrict your freedom. Really, you have to utter freedom. We all have freedom to do what we want to do. So. It's basically like our ego, our unresolved shadow and hurts and pain and distorted interpretations. They overlay the current reality. So really problems happen and hurts happen where they don't necessarily need to happen once we understand this. Um, so disrespect isn't something that you can definitely see. You have to understand the energy, the purpose behind the behavior. For example, some person could be have a, a sore ear or sensitive hearing, or the volume of somebody speaking could be too high or raised, or it could be loud in music or something. So. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Blessing, I think it's over there, yeah. <laughs> so here are some uh, strawberries. <laughs> that man just asked me where is Blessington. So we must become aware and wise and understand what is disrespectful and what isn't and what is allowed and what isn't so if somebody has like if there isn't if there is a sense of care or respect or let's say care honor and integrity and love involved in an action like let's say someone covering their ear or let's say somebody's there and you're walking with them and then they just walk away instead of waiting for 10 seconds for you. Somebody could call that disrespectful because they're hurt, they've been triggered and hurt. But really, do they not have the freedom to... Do they not have the freedom to actually cover their ears or walk away? The truth is they do have the freedom and sometimes we can be we can be encroaching and trying to judge and tell people what to do and control them actually and we're very slow to generally admit we're wrong in this sense it's like it's like not the nicest aspect if you know what i mean but don't worry because we're all are like this to a degree or we have been like this what we must learn is to be look at ourselves honestly be a be willing to admit when we're wrong and admit when we're wrong, possibly apologize or say sorry, and also try or and say also that we'll do our we'll do better and we'll learn. So you learn from your mistakes. And I'd like to say mistakes are nothing but successes that we can learn from. So don't no, no longer view your mistake as a mistake. View it as a success and say, Oh I made a mis I made a success there. That was a good thing. That was a good success that I can learn from and it's happened positively and I'm going to learn from it for a good reason. So no longer get upset thinking you've made mistakes. Like uh, Edison, or he tried like a thousand times to make the light bulb, but he, it was, then he finally got it and someone says, how did it, some reporter asked, how did it feel to make so many mistakes? And he says, none of them were mistakes, they were all successes on my way to becoming closer to actually inventing the bulb properly. So, so in this video it's really all about looking at yourself and being willing to not suddenly jump to a conclusion or an assumption about somebody, your, somebody in your life. You know, your, your mum or your dad, your son or your daughter, your brother or your sister or your partner or someone, a colleague or someone you know or work with, a friend maybe. 
to look at yourself instead of projecting outwards as if you know. And the biggest piece of advice I'd also say is, as well as becoming aware of your own thoughts, assumptions and conclusions, become aware of your, your feelings emotionally. Become aware of how what you're thinking and believing is affecting you emotionally. And then finally also become aware of your needs, like you need to be respected and loved. But the thing is, you can be wrong and someone's actually not being disrespectful and you're causing your own emotions and hurt. So it's really important to not only become aware of the interconnection between your thoughts and beliefs and emotions, but to see how it makes you feel. And then also, instead of just jumping to the conclusion, ask. So instead of just jumping to conclusions quietly in your own mind, in your own fairy tale, actually ask somebody, do you mean this? Um, I, like let's say for example someone covers the ear a little bit and you just become aware become aware 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 are you speaking more loudly are you more animated are you raising your voice more are you angry and maybe someone's like feeling your feelings your anger or upset or they just simply have a sensitive ear or maybe they have an itchy ear so instead of like just simply assumption assuming and then all the hurt happens and then the attack happens you're giving out or something or the sulking, the brooding, and so this could be either this could be either someone in your life who you know like this, or it could be you also, you know, both people. Um, it's all about learning, and you ask the person, are you are you upset, or is everything okay? Um, are you needing more quietness? Ask them about their feelings and their needs, what they're needing and what they're feeling, and then it's simply resolved. Dead simple. Both people grow closer and understand it. Isn't that right, horses? It's actually really really simple. But if you don't know this, it's hard, it's difficult, it's complicated. So I'll leave you with these beautiful flowers and uh, budding baby strawberries. There's a nice little red one there, eh? That's beautiful. I might take the little red one. Seems to be a lot of strawberries over here. Well, growing everywhere, eh? Even here is a strawberry. Oh yeah, it's growing down in the... Uh, <laughs> cool, it's growing down the wall. And all of this stuff here is edible. This is called um, oh, toad flax, I think. Toad flax, yeah. Toad flax, it's an edible green and it usually grows in walls, to be honest. Little nooks and crannies. I've eaten this before and um, I'll put up a picture or something like that. And here's some edible like Herb Robert, also called the dragon's blood. Like the veins and... Uh, Generally very distinctive, pretty flowers and strawberries. So, I hope that video was helpful. Send you love and light, peace and joy, happiness, integrity, honour, justice, having fun in life, celebrating life, enjoying the trees, enjoying like architecture and like old buildings and little like fluffy things in the sky, the birds, mother earth beneath us below us, above us, everywhere, thanking God, source for our bodies, for all of nature and the animals, being happy and grateful for a new day, our, nost our noses, our nostrils, our bodies, our faces, all the love and the light in the world, and all the friendship, all the kindness and the care, the mums and the dads, Christmas time, all the things about being human, learning and growing, and it's all lovely and fantastic, so I'll leave you with that, and I send you the blessings of the highest. And I'll see you again in another video. Until then, take care, stay happy, healthy, fit, strong and well, and be kind to you and your loved ones. See you. Bye.